Hello everyone, lovers of Creative Ends platform. Welcome back to class. So they are making a top band, um, starting with the measurement, and I'll be using the height of the top band 14, the length 23. And then to make this top band, I need a foam, foam, foam. I need a foam, and the wideness of the foam I'm using is about four inches. The length, I do not, I did not really put the length here. That's because as we proceed with the uh, class, you understand the length you will use. This part is meant for the base, the base. So like the turban uh, band, eh? we are going to use this for the band. And it measure is, uh, it measured six inches and then, uh, the length can be maybe 18 because I want to cross it. I'll be having some excess parts. And then this part is meant to cover the foam. And then the wideness is 8 inches. When you fold into two, you have 4 inches. So it's meant to cover the... Uh, yeah, that's the wideness, 8 inches. But when you fold it into two in sewing, you have 4 inches. And also, I intend adding this uh, sequence uh, suede to it. So I'm using length of 15 and then the height of 10. I'm using the height of 10. I just intend adding it to the top of the turban. As I proceed with the class, you will understand better. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing great, every one of you that have stopped by this channel this day. All right? So this is the first part of the turban you can call it maybe the band or the band or the base whatever so i want to make it a v front or a crossed uh, front so since i'm going to cross the front hence i have enough material to do my crossing i don't really believe in managing my materials to cross because Sometimes it becomes difficult and you might not really like your finishing result. So some I work with 18 inches, sometimes 20 inches. Whatsoever is remaining from it, I'll just cut it off rather than not having it enough. So now to sew it on it, I only just cross it. If you see it there now, I did not sew it first. I just crossed. Then I simply pinned my turban uh mat the part which is meant to be the cap now to it and i gave you that measurement before that i'm using 14 by uh 23 you can do uh 26 you can do 28 whichever is convenient but normally head measurement is between 22 23 24 so if you do that i remember it's a stretchy fabric so it will be okay Alright, so after fixing it, this is what I have. I will, uh, first of all, want to weave it. Because if you want to do a neat work, then you have to consider doing that. So I want to weave that part. Alright, now I'm done weaving it. You can see it's better, it's looking better. Alright, so I will take the measurement for the cap now. I will take the measurement for the cap by folding it uh, into two. When I fold into two, I will not take the real measurement I want. So remember I said head measurement is usually 22. Mostly 22. So 22 divided by 2 will give you 11. You understand? It will give you 11. So 11 when you open is 22. When you join is 11. So at the point of 11 or 10 and half, 10 plus half i'll close it and this is just how i close you see the movement there it's not a straight one you have to give it a little bit of curve and when i'm done i also weaved it so i also weaved it and then you see the finishing so this is the finishing as far as the cap the cap is consigned so we are going to talk about the part i want to design I showed you this material before that is measuring 8 inches. 
I did not give you the length, but as I use my length here, you are going to see it. So the first thing I did was to close it up and then turn it over because I made, I want to affix the foam inside. Now, I find out most people have real challenges when it comes to fixing of foam. Even me, I used to have that challenge until I was able to come up with this idea. So what I do is, whenever I'm going to use a foam, I'll first of all use any uh, material, lining, you know, lining material. I'll first, this baby lining is the cheapest lining you can get. So I use any color at all because it's not going to show. To first of all, uh, wrap the foam. So what I'm doing now will help me to prevent this foam from breakage. If you have used foam without wrapping it before, you will quickly understand what I'm saying because in the process of putting it in without wrapping, you just have to be very careful, very systematic and all of that. If not, you will not be able to put it in it. You just keep cutting and breaking on the way. So to avoid that, just simply use your uh, baby lining to first of all base it. It doesn't matter how you sew it. It doesn't need to be neat, you understand? The major thing is for it to be able to insert the foam without breakage, you understand? So right now I'm done inserting this foam. The next thing I want to do is I want to fix the black part of it to it. I am just using the black to add as a kind of design on it. So I'm just fixing the black. Remember I gave you the measurement for this black and I said it is 15 by 10 you understand height 10 so when i fold in total i'll get five but length remains the same which is 15. so now after fixing it i'll ensure that where i have fixed it is almost at the middle of this uh particular uh, uh this particular uh, part it should be at the middle of the foam you understand should be at the middle so the next thing i'll do is i'll tie it so when i tie i try to ensure that the part where this material is sewn together is facing down no part of this material is expected eh, to face up where it is sewn you understand when you turn it you definitely see the line where they've used in sewing it so that line is expected to face down completely so in the process of your adjustment just ensure you have the the top as plain as you can see mine now is that okay so the next thing i'll do is i want to fix it to the top band. i want to fix it to the top band, but i know so many uh uh teachers have different ways of fixing theirs but for me I always want to like think what's the best way. I find out most times when you try to like fix this foam to the turban direct and if you are not being very careful, you find out that after fixing the foam, you can no longer wear the turban because it will become so, so tight. Yeah, those that have experienced it before can attest to that. It will become so, so tight. So I always devise a means of making whatever I'm doing very easy. So what I did there is to take the measurement I want to use and then I'll mark it, check it, and I'll first of all sew this part. So what I have there is 14, which means if you stretch it now, you'll be getting 28. And you know that for the turban base, I used 11. If you stretch it, you'll be getting uh 22 is that okay so when i joined i joined it through the back so by the time i flip it over you will now see that the neat part is what you are seeing why the back will be fixing this turban that is already completed you don't have to bother about how do i handle that part again because the, it is already uh, fixed the part that is rough is what is inside why the neat part is what is showing and to do that you just flip it over after sewing it turn it over after sewing it then you flip it so you can see it's very neat so what i want to do is that i'm just going to join it from the back 
from the back line where I close the turban and I also close this uh, style on top now I'm going to join it from that part so I'll put the two lines together and then I'll just use my machine to run it maybe one or two times if you think or you feel your machine cannot run it especially if you are not using an industrial machine you can easily use your free hand uh, sewing to join that part before you use your loose stitches to like uh, pull it together so right now i have joined it you understand so for this turban this is just how it will look i'm not sewing any part i'm not attaching any part again that part where i have sewn at the back is enough to hold it and this also will enable my client to be able to style it any how they like it they can pull it back as much as they want they can pull it forward as much as they want you understand so at this point i'll quickly use the uh, free hand needle to do some loose stitches because I intend to pull it together I want to pull it together especially because of uh, the back where I fix the style on now I want it to be a bit uh, stronger than it is now so by the time I pull it together it's like no we already uh, sewed with a uh, 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 machine so then using the free hand is like giving it a double sewing you understand so by the time i pull it together it will come out uh tight or should i say tighter and then stronger firmer and your results will just be perfect and it will also help to give a little style to the back again to the finishing okay something i have to emphasize here is you can see this thing is so thick but i was able to pull it the only reason I was able to pull it is, if you look at my thread, it's very, very thick. My thread is very, very thick. So, don't just fold your thread into two. Eh? It will not be able to carry it. It will be too light. So, you can see my thread very, very thick. So, ensure your thread is thick if you are going to pull it together using the same method I just did now. Alright? So... Uh, after pulling it together, uh, I will just uh, take it uh, back to my table to add some little uh, style to it. So just wash that part. Just wash. I don't have any other thing to explain. So just keep washing. And then, please, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do so. And if you love this video, just give it a thumbs up. You understand? And then you can also drop any comment on the comment box. I like reading your comments. You understand me? Please, it gives me joy. Is that okay? All right. So I will be seeing you in my next video. I'll be seeing you. Though I'm still going to add some patches I've told you before. Just watch the video to the end.